Tobacco control advocate don't call for more better work of available tobacco control policies nationwide. And they say government must take advantage of what they fit get from tobacco control and carry internally generated revenue go up and still protect citizens from wahala of tobacco use. Our talk talk person, E. Dong Joseph, he gave us more yarn. Available data says over 3.5 million persons have lost their lives to tobacco use in the past. Data further suggests that over 16,000 persons die yearly from tobacco use. Despite efforts to curb this growing trend, about 25,000 children aged between 10 to 14 years and another 7.4 million adults still use the substance daily. Tobacco control advocates, however, are optimistic that serious government worldwide can win the war against tobacco use. With this in mind, some advocates in Nigeria are calling on the federal government to move beyond gazetting Nigerians' National Tobacco Control Act 2015 and begin a radical implementation process. There are a lot of you know, researches, data to show that countries lose a lot in terms of what you spend on health health related to tobacco, tobacco use and that tobacco control in itself brings a lot of economic benefits. So we expect that our nation um, well, is going to gain tremendously uh, from this particular law. When you have tobacco control policies effectively implemented, everyone is protected so that you know, uh, because of course you know, you know about the harms of tobacco uh, and it's not just the smoker who suffers diseases. All of us are at risk, so the effects of secondhand smoke. So when tobacco control policies are effectively implemented, everyone is protected and the whole country is healthy. And when everybody is healthy, then people can go about their business without having to go into hospitals and spend the little money that they have to cure diseases. They say government must work toward providing adequate funds for the war against tobacco. They also want Nigerians' federal government to institute a committee that will work towards raising funds for an expensive anti-tobacco use campaign. The Honorable Minister of Health should constitute another committee because he's the one so empowered by the Act to constitute a committee. Then it is the committee that will now work, take forward the conversations as regards tobacco control fund because the tobacco control fund is supposed to be created to fund both the committee and every other tobacco control interventions in the country. It's critical that funding is available to ensure sustainability of all tobacco control activities at all levels, at the federal, the state and the local government. So the responsibility really is on the Federal Ministry of Health to work closely with the Federal Ministry of Finance to establish the tobacco control fund as soon as possible. With full belief that Nigeria can still win its anti-tobacco war, some of these tobacco control advocates are calling on government agencies responsible for the protection of citizens to rise up to the challenge and save Nigerians' future generation already getting hooked to tobacco use. For us as CSOs, we will continue to monitor both the government and the tobacco industry's response to this new set of regulations. We know for one that the tobacco companies might want to challenge this regulation and uh, we just want to advise them because they're going to lose the way they've been losing all around the world. Uh, this is a piece of legislation that we're ready to defend as CSOs, as Nigerian people. We're go going to continue monitoring to make sure that the policies, the law and its policies are fully implemented in our country and that's why we're, we CSOs, as we move from campaigning for the passage of laws, we're now going to um, going into a, a different campaign to ensure that enforcement happens. Idang Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.